Hello everyone. In this video, I will introduce this helicopter co-simulation system. This system is composed of two different parts. First is the developing computer, and the second is this NI real-time controller. Co-simulation means in this developing computer, we will build a 2DOF helicopter nonlinear model to simulate the performance of a real helicopter system. And uh, in the real-time controller, we will build the control part of this system. This controller will get the feedback signal um, of the helicopter system and then provide the control signal to the helicopter. Next, let's start this program. Open this LabVIEW project file. And then this is the project explorer. We can see in this project, there are two different components. One is computer. The other is this real-time controller. This real-time controller is, uh, is uh, uh, with an um, IP address. Each time we open it, we need to get the IP address of this uh, real-time controller. And uh, let's try to connect this uh, controller to this project. OK, when this green light is on, it means the real-time controller is connected to this computer. Next, let's look at the program. First, let's look at the model program. In this model main program, we, we build a nonlinear model for our helicopter system to simulate the performance of this 2DOF helicopter. We can take a look at the block diagram. In this program, in this heli helicopter model, we have two inputs. That is the two voltage inputs, VMP, VMY, and the four different outputs. That is theta, phi, theta velocity, and the phi velocity. This is a 2DOF helicopter, but we only try to control the angle of theta value. In this fr front panel, we show the input value and the four output values. Next, let's look at this controller part. This real-time main program is the controller. In this front panel, it shows we can use this dial or input box to change the desired theta angle. Here, it also shows the desired value and the actual value of a helicopter. In this plotter, we also show the desired theta angle and the actual theta angle. And the VMY and the VMP are the two input signal for the helicopter. This is the block di diagram. We get the feedback signal, theta, phi, theta velocity, and the phi velocity. And then generate the control signal, VMP and the VMY. Here, the controller part is realized through the FPGA part of this real-time controller. The FPGA part is here. Under the real-time controller, there is a chassis. And the FPG target, we can build the FPG program here. This is the front panel of this FPG. It gets the theta, phi, theta velocity, and the phi velocity, and produce the VMP and the VMY. This part of program takes advantage of the. Um, FPG to get a fast response. We take a look at the back block, pro, bro, block diagram. It makes some calculations here. 
We don't need to run this FPG program. We just need to build a create a build specification, and here, and then before we run this program, just build it. It shows uh, this uh, bit file is up to date, so we don't need to build it again. So, next, let me show you how to run this system. Before run it, we need to make the real-time controller program ready. Run it first. Then stop it. Then we can run this model pro program first. Then run this controller program. We can see there are two curves appears on the plotter. One is the white curve, which means the desired phi theta angle. And uh, the red curve shows the actual theta angle. The actual angle approach to the desired angle step by step. We can use this dial to change the desired target, desired angle. For example, we change it to 7.53714. And we can see the desired angle on the plotter was changed to the new value immediately. But the actual value, theta value, will approach to the desired angle. And then we can also use this uh, dial input box to, we can set is uh, 0 0.9, point negative 9.5 and hit enter. We can see the desired angle was changed to the new value immediately. And the actual helicopter angle approached to the desired one. We can see here in the model part, the theta, va theta value changes. And this is also the theta value. We can also use this up and down button to change the desired angle step by step. Right now it's 0.5. We will want to stop this program. Just hit the stop button and close the two programs. Before we exit this project explorer, we needed to disconnect this real-time controller first, then close the project. <laughs>